What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another episode of Double Dribble and another episode of our 2022 NBA Draft Player Breakdown Series. For today's video, we have a good video, a good breakdown on Jalen Duran. Uh, he's a freshman from Memphis and just getting a little bit of background on Jalen Duran. Uh, he's a 6'11", 250-pound power forward slash center from Memphis. Uh, like I said, he's a freshman this year. Um, in his freshman campaign, he was the AAC Freshman of the Year. Uh, he's from, he came from high school in uh, Mount Verde Academy, and he's from Sharon Hill, Pennsylvania. Um, he, he's currently projected to be a, a lottery pick in this year's, in this year's draft. Um, and I think that should be, should be pretty much a lock for the most part, uh, that he will get drafted in the lottery. Um, in his freshman year, he averaged 12 points per game, 8.1 rebounds per game, 1.3 assists. Uh, he also averaged 2.1 blocks per game and 0.8 steals. Uh, he shot 59% from the field, 60% uh, from the two point from two pointers, and he didn't shoot any threes this year. Um, he did also only shoot 62.5% from the free throw line, um, and he averaged 2.2 turnovers per game uh, to go along with that 1.3 assists per game. Uh, so now let's go ahead and uh, and look at some of the strengths and and talk about what Jalen Duran is really good at. So with Jalen Duran and coming into the NBA uh, in this year's draft class, uh, one of the biggest things that uh, t NBA teams are really looking at and is what ma is making him such a good prospect is really just his physical abilities. Uh, his, his body size, uh, his athletic ability um, is really what teams are, are looking for and it's the type of build and athletic ability that teams are looking for for their center um, or their power forward. So Jalen Duran, like I said, he's 6'11", 250 pounds. Um, he's an extremely uh, big, he's got wide shoulders, broad shoulders, he's strong. Um, he's got really powerful leaping ability and he also has the mobility that you know teams are really looking for um, in this modern NBA area or era I should say sorry along with that he also has a seven foot five wingspan um, and his his agility he's got actually really good feet and pretty good agility uh, for someone of his size his lateral quickness is is also really really kind of rounded out and is is on top of the class for someone in his size um, which allows him to be a really intriguing prospect on both offensive and def defensive side of the ball um, you know on offense banging down in the post he's got the size uh, he's got the body he's got the frame to be able to bang with people down low and then also on the defensive side you know he's got the quickness the the lateral quickness and the agility to stay with guards if he gets switched out on them but he also has the body size to to bang on the defensive side with other big men um, you know while they're down in the post so really looking at the offensive side of the ball um, he's got good like I said athletic ability which makes him an extreme uh, lob threat uh, he's got good hands uh, he knows how to time up uh, the lobs and, and you know get the ball at the peak and finish through people um, with his back to the basket he doesn't have the the greatest game when with his back to the basket he still um, is trying to work on that you know he can get sped up at times but we'll talk about that in the weaknesses uh, but he's got he's got all right touch around the rim it's not you know the best touch we've ever seen but it's not terrible uh, his hands uh, are they're all right again it's not anything um, you know crazy but it's not uh, anything of great concern either um, but really on the offense side of the ball he's got a lot of uh, opportunities and uh, skill sets to be a, a major lob threat at the NBA level um, on pick and rolls catching lobs being in kind of that that dunker spot or that lob spot um, you know at the NBA level I think he's got a lot of potential there I mean, then another thing uh, for the defensive side of the ball he like I said he's got the body size uh, to be able to switch out on guards and uh, you know, stay with them. Use his length and his his good uh, lateral quickness to stay with the guards. Um, but he's also got really good timing to be able to block shots. Um, like I said, in college he averaged uh, what was it here? 2.1 blocks per game in college, and he had really good timing. Um, he was you know really well. Did a really good job at keeping you know the guards in front of him, and then also uh, knowing when to bang with people in the post, and then when to kind of let them go into their move, and then time up their time up their move and block their shot. So now let's go ahead and look at you know some of the weaknesses of Jalen Duran. So 
I just touched on some of the athletic ability and the size of Jalen Duran that has so many, you know, NBA scouts and NBA teams uh, really looking forward to get a chance to draft him. Uh, but looking at some of the weaknesses, a lot of it has to come down to uh, his kind of his IQ and his mental, uh, kind of the mental side of the game. It seems like a lot of times he um, he can be kind of lackadaisical, get a little get a little lazy on both the offensive side of the ball and the defensive side of the ball. Um, it just doesn't seem like he has a great you know basketball IQ. Uh, there's a lot of times where he can get extremely sped up. Um, where he's like losing his balance, uh, tripping over his own feet kind of. Uh, he doesn't necessarily know what the right pass is if he's getting doubled in the post um, or if people are digging on him. He doesn't really see the floor the best and uh, and know where that right pass should be or that right kickout pass should be or the player that's kind of open on the backside if he's getting doubled. Um, and then along with that, he uh, you know tends to fade away a lot in the post when he should just be powering through people. And then also his free throw shooting uh, really needs improvement. He only shot 62% from the free throw line. Uh, so with that kind of low IQ and low free throw percentage, it'd be really hard to keep him on the floor in late game uh, situations. Uh, you just kind of never know what's what's going to happen, what kind of play he's going to kind of try to make if he gets the ball in the post. Um, and then teams could resort to just fouling him when he only shoots 62% uh, from the free throw line. But also along with that, he does need to work on his low post skills. Right now, he doesn't have a great low post game. Really, he just uh, relies on lobs, you know, rim runs, and then offensive rebounds to do the do the majority of his scoring. Um, and then if the game is a is a slower paced game, he tends to just kind of lose his effectiveness and not be you know as dominant as he could be, just because he doesn't have that low post threat uh, with his back to the basket. Uh, he's pretty much needs. You know, runouts uh, where he's running the lane and gets a pass and dunks it or gets or catches lobs. So I think he just really needs to work on his low post game and kind of his mental uh, mental side of the game and his basketball IQ. In conclusion, uh, Jalen Dern has a has a very high upside. You know, with his his physical abilities, his athletic abilities. Um, and what he can do on both, on pretty much mainly the defense side of the ball, but also with the offense side of the ball and catching lobs. Uh, there is some things that he needs to work on, like his low post skills and just kind of his mental IQ. Uh, but I feel like if he lands with the right team in the right you know place and situation where they really develop him, and he plays with somebody that's uh, very unselfish and is really good at you know playing the pick and roll, throwing lobs. Um, and finding him in places where he can be effective. I think that Jalen Duren could be a great pick for any team. Uh, he's got uh, the making to be an extreme you know, rim protector and someone that is you know, one of the best lob threats in the NBA. So I think he's got a lot of potential. He just needs to get in the right place, in the right situation, where they're really going to work on develop him, developing him, developing his skills, and then also developing his mindset. So you know, I want to hear from all you guys in the comment section down below your thoughts on Jalen Duren. You know, what do you think he'll pan out to be in the NBA? Will he be someone like a Bam Adebayo? Or is he going to not pan out to be, you know, someone of that caliber? So leave all your comments in the comment section down below. You know, as always, make sure you hit the like button this video. You know, please hit the subscribe button, join the channel, and join the conversation. Uh, and then also share this video with your friends. And we'll see you in the next one. Peace.